Hey, before we get into the show, tonight I'm going to be in Sunshine Coast doing my show, No Slide Season, first show of the tour. Friday night, I'm going to be in Gympie. Get I've, it. Uh, my, two weeks ago, found out that I sold yep. 10 tickets. Haven't heard an update yet, but someone messaged me that, I, that they bought a <laughs> ticket. So at least 11, 11 people are coming. Great. I'd love to get to 12. That Come is the Gympie. only show of the tour where the door does not need to be shut because yep. tickets aren't flying out of it. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. All, all doors across the country are shut except for Gimpy. Gimpy. But doors in wide their defense, open. Not sure if they have doors. <laughs> uh, and then on Saturday night, I'm going to be on the Gold Coast performing. Come see me, loosespears.com slash gigs. And then two weeks from now, Brisbane, the 20 and the 21st of September. Biggest shows I've ever done. Come see me. No slide season on sale now. It's going to be a banger show. And I'll see you there. And also Melbourne, second show. Melbourne, second show added. Feeling First one quick. sold out. Ticks are nuts. flying out that door. So if you're in Melbourne, batten down the hatches. That's right. All right, see you there. Let's begin with the show. And welcome to episode 16 of the Luke and Lewis show. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Keelan. We're back. Well, welcome, thanks, Luke. Man. Hey, thanks, man. Welcome Jim. to you. Hey, thank you so it's much. Well. It's hey, great to be back. To the listeners out there, welcome, welcome to you. Welcome. Sound off if you feel welcome. That's right. Great. Um, and Luke, do you have another uh, Yeah, I've got one. Okay, you ready? Okay. This one's like another sound effect one. Yeah. Okay, so... Thank God. We're kicking it into gear today, guys. Oh, that's good. I really like that. That Because the gear stick wasn't working, so I had to give it a bit of a kick. I thought And then the car started. I thought you were killing someone. (laughs) It seemed really violent. I thought you were choking someone out. It seemed like. Oh, Quite yeah, a violent dude. Start I, I get how, yeah. But imagine that was a, jizz, a, a gear stick the whole time. Imagine <laughs> that was someone jizzing, is what I'm saying? <laughs> imagine that was a guy jizzing. <laughs> the, the old, uh, and then you the kicked old him. Jizz stick. The old dominatrix. Yeah. Hey, hit, hit Luke up if you need uh, any violent sex. <laughs> Gillen <laughs> <laughs> was a bit offended Consensual. by that. Consensual? Yeah. Well, can violent sex be consensual? I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess. Does that mean violence can be consensual? Yes, boxing. UFC. Yeah. Nobody okay. comes during that, though, I don't think. Well, I don't know. That's what I reckon there's some. Me, when I watch it. Oh, did you know in wrestling, huh? if you get uh, an erection, you get a 30 sec- You get 30 seconds to get rid of it. And then what seconds? happens? You get fined. You get. I think you get disqualified if you don't get rid of it. 30 seconds. How do you get rid of it? I'm just trying Hold to think of how you get... Does that... Well... No, I don't actually erections? know that for a fact, but I did wrestling in high school in America. I oh, you mean, I thought you meant like WWE. You mean like actual, oh, actual wrestling. wrestling. No, wrestling. So, so if and you're that's what all the boys wrestling. told me. That, Fuck. that if yeah. you get an erection, get 30 seconds. But that might not be true. So say if you are. School. I think that would, that would happen. It would happen a lot. Well, if you yeah. are. Because you're like gay, then, and you're, you know. But also, if you're just like rubbing against a warm body, sometimes it's just going to happen. I mean, that yeah, I guess. And yeah, especially, you know, if you're if you're winning a yeah. fight. Do you reckon sumo wrestlers get hard ons? Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to notice. see it. <laughs> we seen the when Conor McGregor did his last weigh in, he had a bit of a hard on. Bit of a chub. Really? I reckon bit he did that yeah. just to get people yeah. talking. But I that's because they don't a lot of fighters don't masturbate or have sex for like months yeah. before a fight. Like if we end up doing our knobby calendar, I'm gonna be rocking a massive half chub and then and then tell you guys I'm not. <laughs> For sure. Okay, well, what are you looking up, Connor's. That's his. Are you, did you look up Conor that's, McGregor half chub? What did you just look not, up? I don't think he ha- is don't. erect. I think he I just don't. has a large penis. And yeah. Good on him. Oh, I think Keelan's never seen a big dick before. <laughs> and you're like, oh, guys, look at his massive erection. Uh, no, I only brought that up because I heard about it this morning. When did you oh, hear that? happened that? recently. Carl is and Jackie f- O'Shea, they talked about fighting it. fighting again. All they talk about is dicks and farts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is like right down Keelan's alley of humour. It's gonna like say, right that's... in your sweet spot of like big cat poo. You enjoy that kind of comedy. You love D's nuts jokes and Ooh. Conor McGregor dick chat. Did tell a good D's nuts joke before. We're not, no, we're not repeating it. That's, that's it. <laughs> um, Done. Deleted. Yeah, uh, Lewis, I have another. Something happened and I forgot to tell you about this yeah. on Tuesday. Last week. I've been saving it. Uh, often we tell sketchy warehouse tales from yes. so at where we record the show, the studio. I mean, calling it a studio is even a bit of a stretch. Yeah, the warehouse, stretch. Uh, which we record the show in, um, is in a quite a dodgy area. Dodgy area. And brothel, uh, brothel capital of Melbourne. Yeah, is it actually? Yes. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. <laughs> I looked up highest highest percentage of brothels in like whatever area. See, that's its only claim to fame. 
No, there was also a dead body that was found very oh, great. recently. So, oh, we've so got an, two claims another to fame. good achievement. And also, someone broke in yesterday on Tuesday and stole the curtains. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Robbers everywhere. So it's it's home of thieves. Yeah. Uh, and brothels. Great. Yeah. And uh, and our show. And murderers. Yeah, we well, fit one right murderer. in. They caught him. So I pulled up uh, last week in my car, and um, I just parked right at the front here. Is it daytime or nighttime? Daytime, middle of the day. Like I, we come in there at eleven a.m. every morning, so it was yeah. eleven a.m. I like. I think that it's funny that your tales you would think you would hear at nighttime, but they're all just yes. during the day. So that's the we actually <laughs> have to Full clarify. View of everyone. Yeah, this is a nighttime story, but it happened at eleven a.m. Yeah. Uh, pulled up and a guy. There was a guy with like four teeth having a dart outside. <laughs> yeah. Not uncommon. Pretty, no, I actually standard. see. I see him quite. If a that lot. was your story, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that guy, no teeth." Yeah, we <laughs> so we actually see him. Right, he's the guy who smokes really strong cigarettes. Yeah, you like can you smell can for weeks smell after. cigarette smoke. Like he leaves for an hour, comes back, and I'm like. You can still smell it. Yeah. I don't know what, like Lewis reckons they're smoking concrete. Like <laughs> <laughs> we're not sure what they smoke here, but it's not normal tobacco. Shouldn't be legal. Um, guy comes outside, knocks on uh, my window yep. and go on oh, my car window. So yep. guy with four teeth, Scary. knocking on my window, goes, oh, oh, yeah, Adam, is, is you Adam? And I was like, no, not Adam. So I thought, oh, maybe he thinks I'm an Uber because yep. I pulled up. Yeah. Maybe I like, I didn't even pull up near him. I pulled up 20 meters away from him. He walked down, knocked on my window. I went, not Adam. Yeah. So, right. So then he opened my car door. Not good. I, I said, that's not me. Not good. So, right. Open my car door. Yeah. I, I don't know why I wasn't. Killen's like, like watching this. Like, oh my God. I was not stressed. This is my problem. You should be. I wasn't. That's like I. I thought it was funny. That's when you get the fist ready to defend yourself. <laughs> no, nah, because he wasn't. He wasn't being aggressive or anything. He's like Adam, and I was like, no. I know. You, oh, okay. Let's be honest. He was like, Adam. He, <laughs> <talk. laughs> he had four teeth. But he was like, Adam, and I was like, not me. And <laughs> and then he opens my car door, and I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm not Adam. <laughs> yeah. He sat in my car. No! <laughs> he sat I in went, your car. What? I'm like, I'm not an Uber, I'm parking. And he goes, oh, sorry. <laughs> and then he goes, I'm so sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and, then, and then he just left. <laughs> he walked away. That's amazing. He, he didn't want to harm me or anything. He just sat in my car, thought I, after me saying, that's not me. Maybe he thought I said, I'm... I'm Adam. Step in. Step in or <laughs> yeah. please open my car door and make me feel uncomfortable. Maybe you thought I said that. I didn't. I said, that's, that's not so me. so funny. You mustn't have heard me through the door because it was yeah. closed. I opened my door. He was sat in. He kind of did the thing where he looked ahead and then he was like, start driving. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That's so funny. You know what? Yesterday when we drove in your car, I did think it smelled like concrete in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. had to be it, Siggy's. Dude, crazy. That's so that's awesome. one. That's I think tops now the top of my list of the sketchiest thing that's happened to me so far. Well, I was four teeth ended up in my car accidentally. Let me know when you find a body. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to start locking my doors. You might be the body. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good man. I like that one. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> it's not funny. That's the yeah. Killen's laughing like that is a good one. No, I'm me laughing dying. At your reaction. I'm yeah, my, me dying sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We're having a big laugh about it. Sound <laughs> off in the comments below if, if you think Luke should I die? Would be funny. <laughs> um, Luke, I uh, I noticed that uh, we've been getting a lot of photos of um, as you guys know, uh, we sold founders merch. Yeah. Uh, so we sold a bunch of merch at. Luca and Lewis 5com Is it available yeah. anymore? It's not. Will it ever be available again? Absolutely not. Gone. So everyone who didn't buy it, what's happened to them? Have they missed out? Missed out. And that's it? That's it. No hey. more. Final. Stop and, messaging us. And do we feel sorry for those people? <laughs> Zero remorse. Because did we tell them that they would miss out if they didn't buy it? Absolutely. And now that they have missed out and they go, oh, when's it going to come back? I want to buy it. What do we say? Fuck, fuck off. off. We say, <laughs> they say, go with Chicken Imp and yeah, fuck, fuck off. off and kindly escort yourself out of our DMs. So everyone who didn't get merch is never going to get merch. Yeah. Now, that And by the way, me... you know why we tell people to fuck off why? sometimes? Because we're not a customer service team, are we? We're Comedians. a podcast. Podcast. Yes. Not customer service. Yep. Now, that being said, Luke, so everyone who didn't get merch has missed out and will never get merch. We haven't got merch. Yeah. 
People have I been think, receiving their merch. I get everyone, messages all the time. Got, got my founders merch. Everyone else has received their stickers, their a T-shirts. A guy put them on his car. We'll put the photos up now. So you know how we wanted people to put the Luke and Lewis R back stickers, <laughs> one on the front, one on the back, and we we're like, man, please someone do it to their car because they're hard to get off. Bumper yeah. stickers it's are not pretty much off. permanent. They're bumper stickers. Yeah. They don't come off. So he's done, done it. He sent us a photo. Luke and Lewis are on the front and then the back of the car are back. And he goes, you boys are... Didn't think I'd do it. There you go. So I forget what your name is. Shout out to that dude. That was sick. That's amazing. Oh, no. I actually retract that shout out, but good job. No shout out to no, no shout out, but good job, whoever you are, whatever your name happens Can to be. Can we shout out anonymous people? I didn't say his name. I don't know. No, you know, even the gesture of shouting someone out, I'm not into. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to like direct no credit to, to anyone outside of this team. At all, all Keelan, actually. Just us. Yeah, just us. Yeah. Um, now, Luke, everyone has their founders merge. Except for us. Yeah. I think that we've missed out on our own merch. And No, no. I spoke to our management. Yeah. And they said, we ordered extra ones for you guys. Just haven't received them yet. That's what I mean. Yeah. They said that. Well, but I kind of like everyone else is getting it. They prioritize, uh, you know, the people who pre-ordered them over us. It's I good. I do like that. Because I, I want people to get your founders merch, but I also want a free t-shirt. Also, we Which are... It's not a free t-shirt. We paid for it. We are the actual founders of the show. Haven't got our shirt. Yes. So... That's annoying. Just saying that out there to you guys. If mm-hmm. you didn't get your founders merch, like us, you've missed out and it sucks. Yeah. So next time we do merch, good. don't sleep. Um, and, uh, you know, n- next time we do merch, we, you know, let's do one that might sell better, like day one or nah, something well, like that. Well, it definitely won't be ever do yeah. day one. Because we're still in the hole because we did founders merch. <laughs> yeah. No, we're in the hole Read the comments, man. We still get comments going, day one was better. That, that's <laughs> over. Like, we get emails sometimes going, hey, boys, just a thought, like for the hmm segment. Yeah. You know, they go, hey, guys, just a thought. Hmm. Founders merch would have been better. Well, debatable. Would you like to do the thought oh, no, wait. segment? Hmm. Day one merch would have been better. Said yeah. the wrong thing. <laughs> do you want to do thoughts now? Yeah, we can do thoughts. Say? Okay, all yeah. right. You have your thoughts up? Yeah, hmm. people, people have been sending in thoughts for the last couple of weeks. Yep. Now, am I still banned from thoughts? Uh, Yeah, you were banned for two weeks, weren't you? Yeah, because you, you, you tried to participate strikes. last yeah. week. So can you please refrain, Killen, from participating at all? I know right. this, this won't be too hard for you, but just don't think. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, like, you never do anything around here. And then w- the one time we tell you, hey, just don't do anything, you're like, oh, now's my time. Maybe she does the opposite of what, what we yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Well, in that case, don't make any mistakes. And then now nah, it was going to kill it. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Make do you make mistakes? I am not on it today, guys. You're just saying guys. the opposite of everything that you mean it's, today. You know, I feel like when I'm in primary school, like, it's opposite day. Uh, remember that joke? <laughs> yeah. I didn't like that joke. Yeah. Or, 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 you know, you know, it was the ultimate form of primary school comedy. Yeah. Saying something, then being like, not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is good not. shit. Like, oh, I like you. <laughs> not. Fuck off. That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, and the ultimate comeback. I know you are, but what am I? Ooh. That was a zing. That zing was Lord. a zing for primary yeah. school. That was good. But were you like rude to people in primary school, or did you just discover that when you're an adult? That... Oh no, I was like a menace. In so primary you used school. to be like grade two. You were like, no, you are, but what am I? You were that kid, weren't you? No, I was weirdly cool in primary school uh, <laughs> and a really bad influence. I wasn't cool in high school. I didn't have very, very many friends in high school, but in yeah, primary I school, that. I was killing it. What do you mean? Like, what what happened? What changed? I don't know. I think that I was just like a really confident shit stirrer in primary school. Like I used to, we used to. I was bad. We used to run around like seeing if we could beat up kids in the year above us who were way bigger. Is that cool? In primary really, school? Not really cool. I don't think violent not, acts not are beat cool them up. when you're eight. We didn't ever beat them up, but we always tried to fuck with them and then run away when they chased us. I, don't th- I think you oh, thought that was you were so cool. fun. I used to do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was that was fun. Because I was always, I loved running, but I could never truly run fast unless someone was chasing me. So ah. I would just shit someone that I knew could destroy me if it, if they caught me and then i'll be like well i guess i better run quick don't i so you yeah. just did it for fitness yeah yeah right well that's good i, I think the kids are, that were cool at my school were like the sporty kids which definitely wouldn't have been you no that wasn't me no no i was just do you play basketball though no no you should no. you're tall Fuck you off. should be a ruckman i'm, I'm leaving footy. just do thoughts you're six foot eight have you ever thought about you'd be you'd excel mm, that sucks. sucks. just a thought <laughs> you should do, do sport um 
Uh, yeah, so Thoughts is a segment where I guess uh, people send in just their thoughts. Yeah. You know, we're, we've really broadened up this segment. Uh, it used to be like specific thoughts about things on their old radio show. Yeah. Now it's just like, hey, if you've had a thought, if send you had a it thought, if, I, if you ha- Basically, if it's a thought that you think it and then you go, huh, hmm. I don't really know the or answer to that. Or if you go, hmm. Yeah, then send it through. That's a thought. Luke and Lewis 5 at gmail.com. Should we begin? I've yeah. got a thought. Start with mine. Wanna... Yep. Hmm. There Here we go. go. Okay. Hang on. You just put your thinking I'm putting on. it on backwards today because I'm feeling cool. I think I might wear my... mine sideways. Ooh, you, you look like a, a, a backup dancer from the 90s yep. with a sidewards thinking cap. That's right. <laughs> um, uh, Luke, I uh, had a thought the other Not, day. Because you don't no, know. I, no, I did. I did. Uh, have no thoughts or not uh, so I had a thought um, when you think about it all food is takeaway because even if you dine in leaves in your belly <laughs> you take it away yeah. so yes. all foods take away it's, a, it's an interesting thought yeah um, profound not profound because ah. the term takeaway yeah. refers to I think where you'll be consuming it Will you be consuming it here? I would say that or you're away. taking the food away. I mean, and that's like, the, I guess I'll, if you're going by that Otherwise logic. Otherwise you go eat away. Okay, well, here's here's another thought by yep. that logic. Yep. Um, all food uh-huh. is shit. Because that's what it ends up like. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> less less marketable if you run a restaurant. Also less profound. <laughs> yeah, less profound. But it is a thought. It is a thought. Yep. Um, this one comes in. I didn't really have, I didn't do a lot of thinking this week, I'll no? be honest. Yeah. I didn't have so any a pretty thoughts. standard week for you? Yeah, and yep. that's fine. Yep. Um, usually it's surprising if I do come in with a thought. <laughs> uh, this one came in from Jordan, though, over the yep. email. Uh, <clears throat> hey, guys. We're sitting in my car in the rain and had a thought. Ooh. Rain is weird. Like, what if it had never rained before in all existence and one day just rained? What would everyone's reactions be? Would we even have roofs? <laughs> or would there be no purpose for them? Hmm. It's a, it's, I think the most interesting part of that is would we have roofs? No, would we? Firstly, Jordan, I'll be honest, try to ruin your thought. We wouldn't exist if it didn't rain. True, because we need water. All we'd need, we'd be beings that need a different thing to survive. Salt water or something. Yeah, we we'd, need we'd something. We'd be like plants just off the sun. Yeah. So we would plants be. Plants need water. Oh, that's true. Plants need <laughs> All water. All living things need water. I think every water. living thing needs water. Yes. Okay. So I guess if uh, H2O didn't exist, then we'd be all screwed. Then neither and- would the TV series H2O. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Remember that one? Yeah, the, with the mermaids. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good thought. Yeah. And uh, but also, I think Jordan has a point. If we didn't exist, then I guess we wouldn't have roofs either. So he's he's, he's he correct, is right? And neither would the thought segment. Hmm. That's so an interesting thought. Uh, this one came in from Jeremy. Yep. Hey boys, just had a thought. Ooh. How do blind people know when to stop wiping their ass? Hmm. <laughs> it's it's got to be it's smell. A, it's a good. Oh, really? What sniff? No, you just do it by feel, surely. Because it would... I mean, I'm trying to think if I've ever had to go in the dark before. Like pitch black, power out, maybe. Maybe you would just... you. Because I think yeah, everyone, I think, once you get to the end, yeah. does a quick check on the toilet paper. And that's why toilet paper is white. Yes. There's a reason why it's not brown. Because yeah. it could be brown paper, bag, yeah. but it wouldn't be... There's a reason it why it's white. would be useful. Yeah. yeah. I think that maybe you would do a couple of test stands. So you do your two wipes, and then you just See go... See your bum cheeks stick together. Yep, and, and you go, oh, it's sticky. Another another wipe, and then you do another test. You go, oh, could be better. But I don't know. I, I, d- I don't want to get graphic, but um, yep. I'm a, I would say I'm a thorough wiper. <laughs> right. I wipe... You're an internal wiper. Dude, I, <laughs> I, I wipe till, like... So you see so, red. <laughs> not that far, yep. but I have before. Really? Yeah. Too much. Too much. You might be trying to do something else, mate. No, no. But uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, oh, while I'm here, I have wiped before. Like, like I always wipe. So you know when most people would consider themselves done. We're talking about wiping so much that I had to restart the music. Yeah. yeah. Good. You know, you know when most people would consider themselves done. Yeah. And you'd be like, I'm done. Yeah. I always go one precautionary. Oh, precautionary. Yeah. That's good. I just don't like the idea of walking around with shit, shit hanging out my ass. <laughs> And yeah. I think that's fair. Nobody wants to look like a Bichon dog, <laughs> do they? Those fluffy dogs that always got shit in their ass. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I have an answer for this. Okay. Am I allowed S- to contribute? 
so weird that it's you're an, contributing. It's not a thought, it's an answer. I'll That's allow true. it. Uh, so, majority of the world use bidets anyway, so they can just yeah. hose their ass. And the other answer is... Is that because there's more people in Asia and Asia use them? I, I because say. I don't think in the Western world, like UK, America and Australia don't. I think a lot of European countries don't. It's mainly Asia. Did That's they come the from France though? France oh, really? Do they... That's why it's called a bidet, isn't it? I don't know the backstory. I've only ever it. used it in like <clears throat> Thailand, so. But I was the... going to say it sounded really weird having such a fancy word described oh, no. by an Australian. Oh, that's why we've got bidets. You spray water on your <laughs> no, ass. T- t- Thailand like have the two hose. Different... Yeah, I talked a, about it. Is that a bidet? Essentially a bidet. I thought the bidet is attached to the toilet. You press a button and it squirts yeah, out. Yeah. Like Japan have the things that cleans your butt while you're sitting. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Thailand's more of like a DIY method. Like here's a hose. Good luck in there, champ. Yeah. Kind of method. Not good. And I recorded it once for the radio show and it was pretty brutal. Yeah. Surprisingly powerful. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. But I, as someone who enjoys a thorough wipe, didn't hate it. <laughs> Otherwise, they just keep wiping until they're sure. Until I would have pa- yeah. paranoia if I was blind about that because I'm a thorough wiper and I'd worried. <laughs> they can be obsessive about it, but it's really not that hard. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Well, it's a good thought from Jeremy. Mm. Do you reckon we'll do one more? One more. Yep. Uh, this one uh, came in from... Uh, I love that we got some actual like good profound thoughts and then as soon as we got one about poo, we're like, all right, this is at least 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, well, because we did get some profound ones, do you want to just do a shit one at the end? There's one that's really bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one came in from Chris. Yep. Uh, what? Actually, could be a good point. What if Chicken Imp is actually Keelan, sent from Keelan's mum's house? <laughs> 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 Firstly, to Keelan's mum, score. Good on you. <laughs> um... That's good. Uh, I don't think that if he was, if he is chicken imp, uh, I think we would be able to tell because he'd be getting out his fucking iPad every time we That's record. That's true. <laughs> Keelan doesn't own an iPad. No, so no case I, closed. I do, but. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you send emails on it? <laughs> no. Why? Because that'd be stupid. And that <laughs> yeah. would suck. Yeah. yeah. And that would be a waste of time. Yeah. And then it would also come up with the bottom of the email saying sent from my iPad and <laughs> no one would take you seriously. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's probably yeah, why. That would be embarrassing. Well, I guess uh, that's thoughts. Actually, I don't want to end it on that one. Can no. we do one more? Okay. This one um, literally on. came in Ask from... Ask me that again. Lewis, can we do one more? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just okay. had to think about this it. This one literally came in from Jesus. Oh, okay. Jesus contacted us. Hit us up at lukeandlewis5 at gmail.com. What's up, JC? How weird is it that you automatically adjust to the temperature of a room and never really notice the temperature unless it's too hot or too cold? Enjoy that, Jesus. Hmm. That is quite weird. Uh, but seeing as you are God most... himself, could you fix that up? Yeah, I think, well, he's God's son. Yeah. No, he's actually God. It's Jesus God. God is three parts, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Ah, I've never so read Jesus, the Bible. So him sending Jesus down was actually a part of himself, and then he killed a part of himself. So really, if you think kind of about like it, a Horcrux. God's a little bit emo. So is that kind of <laughs> like what Voldemort did? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Lots of people say that Harry Potter is kind of just the all of the parts of the story of the Bible retold. Yet often religious people are very anti witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, maybe if Voldemort had a nose, it would work better. Mm, interesting. Well, there we go. That, that was thoughts, thoughts, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys have, uh, you know, seeing things a little differently now. Had um, a bit of a think. Had a bit of a ponder. And now it's just time to move on to some, you know, some less less highbrow stuff. Yes. Because that was pretty much where we peak on this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Can blind people wipe their ass properly? And you know what? We we thought about a lot of stuff there. What's that? Why does it say immersive theater on our whiteboard? I've been intrigued. You've had this written up yeah. here for a couple of days. Um, me and uh, my girlfriend, Jazz. Uh, Jazz, as you know, likes doing weird things, oh, experiences. Okay. She's all about it. Has she started an immersive theater Instagram account? No, she hasn't. She's no. like, oh, my immersive theater is a Sagittarius. Um, no, <laughs> she has not. Oh, uh, but she has booked us tickets to some immersive theater. Yeah, you know, right. immersive theatre is something that we have done before. Haven't you done this? You yeah, I've done something about it on like the this. radio where you walked around the It was city. called the Alone Experience, uh, where it's basically immersive theatre is like theatre. You go, you sit in an audience, mm-hmm. you watch theatre. Immersive theatre, you're kind of part of the show, except you it's don't know like what's going to happen. It's not like you're on stage. Yeah. It's like you're, the experience is the show. Yes, yeah. So it's, it's more of an experience. A bunch of actors now, from, interacting with you. From memory. Yeah. You didn't, you kind of, you didn't really enjoy it last time. I loved it, uh, the alone experience. So there were lots of the alone experience. Didn't was, it make you feel really uncomfortable? Uh, I'll get to that. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I loved it until right. There's lots of different rooms with the alone experience. One room was like a mirror where a girl said, 
move and I moved my arm and then she moved her arm and it was like a mirror and I was like oh great I got her to do a dab that was hilarious I tried I, I made her laugh by getting her to do dumb shit yep. she wasn't allowed to laugh nay, nay. yep got her to do all of that floss yep see and how I, good she is and then I felt sorry for her because I know that some creepy cunt would probably touch his boobs and then oh, to get yeah. her to do it and then she would just be like I'm not dumb <laughs> yep um and then there was another room where there was a mime and he tried to dance with me. That was also kind of cool. Yeah. So you've, you've already experienced this and then but you then, were both like, round two. There was another room where a guy put gloves on, put his hand in some, in some spices and then put his finger in my mouth. Didn't like that bit. <laughs> that is too immersive. Too immersive. Don't know why I don't didn't say don't do that. Don't immerse your finger in, in my face. Not good. Um, but anyway, she's booked us for another immersive experience, different company, uh, but it's about... Edgar Allan Poe's poems and apparently you walk through this thing and every different room or whatever it is is like experiencing a different one of his poems uh, and it's in the city and Luke we have there's an option to pay a small fee to reschedule your night because it goes for like a month we have paid six dollars per ticket to reschedule it four times you just <laughs> don't want to go Oh, we just can't be bothered going all the way from her house. She lives far out of the city, all the way there. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I just think that at some point, the experience is just going to be how many times can we postpone this? Six. Do so how many times have you done it? Three times. So now. six times each. Yeah. So six dollars each. Just twelve dollars. Yeah. So it's yeah. cost you thirty-six dollars. Yeah. So far. So we've we're almost up to essentially buying three tickets. Right. How thing. much was it originally? Oh, it's pretty expensive. It's like fifty. And who bucks. bought it? Jazz. Jazz bought it. She's like, we're going to this. And, and I was like, Woo! So she clearly doesn't... I know it puts something in my body. So And she clearly doesn't want to go. No, she really wants to go. So we why just she can't keep... be bothered going. And I feel like that... But that doesn't mean you really want to go. No, I don't know. It's like the, the, the effort of going. We're going to go this week, actually. I think so we're going this weekend? On, oh, you're uh, going to oh, no, shows next this week, weekend. Next week. You're after my, After my first shows. Woohoo, that'll be immersive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Someone might put something in your mouth as well. I know. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking that maybe adding that ticket option to our shows could be a bit of extra cash because all those people will just reschedule for another time. You get free money. Don't have to put your finger in anyone's mouth. Yeah, but I, so, so you think we should add that to our shows, but like we don't come back to usually till the next year. I know. So we just get six bucks and then it show up. Beauty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. And then there's no one there at the show. Yeah. That would suck. Yeah. But then, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing that in Gimpy. That's so true. What's the difference? Every show can be like Gimpy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. So, well, so can you report on that when you, yeah, can you come we back? Are, and so next week I'm doing it. So probably on Thursday next week, maybe I think we will have done it by then if we don't reschedule. I'll be it. honest. I would hate that. It's, it's especially the poem theater. one. The first one sounded like it, you could, like you made the first it fun. one was good. You made no, but you made the first one fun. I did it wasn't fun. One fun. You were like, ah, I'm going to incorporate dabs. Yeah. I wonder what other people do. Just go like, well, if, uh, initially I didn't understand what the room was. I got in and the woman was just standing still, and I'm like waiting for her to do something. Yeah. So I'm standing still, and then uh, we're standing there just staring at each other for forty seconds. I'm like, oh, I guess this is the eye contact room where we stare at each other. And then she just goes, move your arm. I moved my arm. She moved hers. I was you like, know why? Oh. Because you're you're a robot. Most people would come in and be like, "So," and and then she'd be like, and then they'd be like, "Oh, you're copying me." Yeah. You would have just been like, I just stared at her. I what like, the fuck is this? On, too? Like you do don't things. move if you don't have to move because you're so big. Yeah. It's like an effort to raise your arm from here to here. I guess it really is. I'm so, saving energy. So you always just stand there like arms by your side, just going like using as minimal come effort on, as possible. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, that's so. I think you were the weird one there. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah. Or I did move a little bit. She copied me, and I just didn't even fucking notice. Man, that's that is so bad. I would never want to go to that. I hope you never invite me to one of those things. Oh, don't and worry. I never will. I've never bought tickets to these. Oh, good. But yeah. I keep going to this them. This isn't like a hint, by the way. Like, I hope you never. I really don't. I won't come. Will okay. you buy me tickets? All right. Great. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's it. That's good. Um, can we talk about this plaque? <laughs> yeah, that you've had. So I walked in. Do you want to go get it? Yeah, I'll get it. So uh, I, I reveal it, or I reveal. Yeah, it you can. You can. You can reveal okay. it. So I uh, walked in uh, yesterday, and this was just after we discovered that uh, we'd been robbed, yeah. right? Um, so I was a bit overwhelmed, and then I saw that they also could have taken this quite an expensive looking plaque that you now. That's right. I, I want to ask. So okay, I'll tell audio listeners what what it is before I ask you the question. Um, it is a. Uh, 
framed plaque that says, Lewis Spears, death threats don't scare me, 10,000 copies of your comedy special sold. That's well right. Done. Firstly, well done. That's great. Um, second question. Under a year. Did you... That's platinum in Australia. Did you make this yourself? Uh, I didn't make it myself, no. Who, who, who made it for you? Uh, the company that I paid to make it for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, see the, what I wanted to know was you paid to get this done. Absolutely. And it was your idea. Yep. And you were like, I'm going to give myself yes. an award. Absolutely. Why? Because no one else was going to do it. No. And that's what the special was about. No one else made the special. Yep. It was me and all of you guys. Yeah. So I thought that I would make the plaque to celebrate 10,000 copies so, sold. So you thought to celebrate yep. with everyone. Yeah. You'd give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah. Yeah. And and where are you going to hang that? Uh, probably, I think somewhere in here. I'm not too sure. Right. Either here or at home. Okay. But, um, so you don't, you wouldn't do this for yourself. I would not even think about it. That's because you would never in your life sell 10,000 copies of anything. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> My comedy special yeah. comes out in, I uh, think the next, we're, the, the release yeah. date's not yet, six weeks. Yeah. Guys. If I sell 10,000 copies, yeah. I will not buy myself a plot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, I think it's, no, I think it's, I think it's a cool thing because I, I don't know. I think you should celebrate these things because I don't know. I just think it's cool. I'm proud of it. And it's a really cool achievement. It is a good achievement. And I, I'm happy for you. What amuses me is just like, I don't know. I come from a background of yeah. like, and I, and this is a flex. Like I come from a background of winning awards yeah like i was often like school captain mm -hmm. stuff from high school like yep. i was sports captain i w yep. won a lot of state medals in running yeah i used to be quite a successful athlete yeah i've achieved things yeah so i get to my adult life and i don't feel the need to be like go me whatever another one for the trophy cabinet what if <laughs> this is what amused me i yeah. started something killing i was like this, and it is an amazing achievement, and it's much more of an achievement than winning a state medal and running. Yeah. But it is so funny to me that I've never thought about giving myself an award. <laughs> it's I never did. even crossed my mind. Like, I should I yeah. should commemorate my achievement. I did. It absolutely was my idea. Like, I'm the me. type of guy, if I sold 10,000 copies, I might go out with Meg and have a beer somewhere. Mm. We'll have a cheers and be like, well done, that was great. I took myself to the comic book shop and yep. bought a plaque. Yeah, right. Oh, is that where you got it from? No, no, nah, nah, I, I got it online. How Actually, do you get the platinum thing made? They they, they did it. So is I, that how the record labels get it done? Just yeah, yeah. Well, that's I, that's what I looked up. I was like... <laughs> to do, do research. Do labels how do, do it? How do I give myself an award? <laughs> and also I looked up... Uh, like what actually is platinum in Australia for a video thing? It is 10,000. Sound off in the comments below. Have you ever given yourself an award? <laughs> so I'm a platinum recording artist. Are you really? That, yeah, 10,000 is platinum in Australia. What the... F no, like... For that's, a, for a I video. mean, that's really impressive for, like, uh, you know, you like you because you're not like with a record label or anything, and that's why that achievement is impressive. But if say if you're like Amy Shark and you get played yeah. on the radio, you know those go, oh my god, triple platinum. That's only thirty thousand. Well, well, yeah, so that's not that impressive. No, I think it's a, it's a little bit higher for music. But so platinum in America is a million sold. So oh, not a million that's streams. Impressive. Yeah, that's crazy impressive. But I feel like for a music artist in Australia, I I might be wrong, but I think it's only fifty thousand. Yeah. Which is so we just we come from a culture of just patting ourselves on the back here. Mm. Going like, oh, we've been a country for two hundred years. Anything is an achievement. You know at what, this mate? Point. If you sell ten thousand, I'll buy you a plaque. Deal. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when's it come out? Uh, it, it's like we're talking about release dates. It should be uh, late September or early October. Okay. Well, hey, there's 6,000 people listening to this. Yeah. You have to. We're already halfway there. There you if go. You, if you all buy it. Got to get it. Let's um, do it. And also, but, but also, that might not happen because there's probably a lot of people listening to this from Gimpy. Not showing up to the show, are yeah, they? True. So, you yeah. know, I wouldn't cross your fingers. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't wait with bated breath on our audience to pull through on a financial commitment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, although we do really appreciate you guys yeah, listening, yeah. Um, but you know, uh, really, you thanks for the, appreciate. Yeah. So, uh, oh, speaking of speaking of cash, nobby.com.au <laughs> dot au is yes. where you go if you want to save cash on underwear and yep. get a flexible subscription underwear service that you can change any time. 
And it's only 20 bucks a month. They do men's, they do women's. People are from the show are sending us photos of them buying undies yep. and uh, shooting it through to us. People and getting their surprise package for their package, their yep. surprise box for their box. Absolutely. It's great to see. Yeah, mm. it's uh, it's good. Nobby.com.au to grab your undies. Uh, they sponsor the show. Uh, they're a reason why we can afford half of everything you see. Yes, and so. also a reason uh, why we can afford Keelan to, uh, uh, you know, Make errors. I mean, and, yeah. and we'd love to pay him more to, uh, as maybe more of an incentive mm-hmm. to not. I don't think we pay him enough for him to care at this point uh, <laughs> if he makes a mistake or not. And that's fair enough. Yeah. And that's, that's on us. And I hopefully, if, you know, Nobby keep uh, coming on board. Maybe, you know, we get to that 10,000 copies sold on my special, you know. 10,000 pairs of underwear sold. Even better. Maybe Instead sh- of buying Luke's special, why don't you buy some Nobby? <laughs> See, this, I put him in a hard spot. It's um, either he trashes the sponsor I'm not or the sponsor. trashes himself. Hey, everyone's got 40 bucks. Buy both. <laughs> Actually, my special's not 20 bucks. That's not even 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah. My, my, my uh, you know, I, I love Nobby. You're mm. great. Appreciate it. But uh, I do do beat him on price point. Mine, that's, mine will that's be true. cheaper than $20. Bit of a barjane. Yes, yep. it, definitely. But, but uh, can you put your knob in... A comedy special of yours. If you try hard like enough. the DVD box. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be comfortable, would it? No, it wouldn't be ha- ha- comfortable. But uh, And also, really hard to... You could stick it in the USB drive and try and get jamming in the, uh, oh. in, into the digital <laughs> download. <laughs> hey, man, you bought Bobby's this up. Bobby's paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is technically an ad rate. It I'm, is an ad rate. I'm trying to tell people to fuck my comedy special. <laughs> but that's, that's really... <laughs> what we've just talked about is why you should support Nobby. Because we just talked to him this morning and, and the Nobby guy went... Guys, I love how you're promoting Nobby. Yeah. And so it, we're not going to find another brand that's happy with Luke yeah. talking about putting your penis in a USB drive while promoting their product. <laughs> yeah. So we have to hold on to Nobby. So yes. you guys got to treat him right. So go put your knob in a Nobby and my <laughs> and my uh, comedy special. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nobby.com.au. I was thinking, Lewis, uh, yeah. we often, we were talking about yesterday, we love a catchy jingle. Yes. Often, like, there's well, a I few... think that, that we've got... Pictures we've of got, friends. I think that we've got our jingle, really. I mean, it's more of a, like a hard rap yeah, That's burst, true. Not yeah. a jingle. So what we're talking about yesterday is some really stick in your head. Uh, Australian yeah. people will know of these ones. For example, like Clive Peters, e e e z The Blind Factory, The Blind Factory. factory. That's still going? Uh, this one. All right, you finished it, right? Yeah. The Reading and uh, Writing Hotline. One, three, triple, five... Isn't it one, one three, three double, double O? o. Guys, <laughs> I, I did the end. Guys, the See. point is, some of them, some of them are memorable and some of them aren't. Well, and I would <laughs> say that you messed up the most memorable ad <laughs> of all time. One three double, double O six triple five O six. Yeah, that ha- actually has to be the most catchy jingle ever because. The people they're adver- advertising to can't read. Yes. So they have to memorize what it sounds it's genius. like. So we were thinking, let's create a catchy, or let's do our best to just maybe brainstorm, brainstorm some ideas for Nobby. Yeah. And maybe, you know, if we come up with a great catchy jingle for them, yeah. then they might keep us on as a sponsor. I think that's pretty good. So I had a few ideas. Yep. Uh, maybe one could be like, uh, you know, uh, Nobby. Okay, so nobby.com.au. Uh, a surprise package. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Nobby.com.au. Uh, make your balls and your box in comfort. <laughs> okay, Luke, I think <laughs> that obviously whatever you thought of, whatever that was supposed to be, <laughs> was the worst jingle ever because oh, no, no. not even its creator oh, no, 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 can no, 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 remember no. it. Lewis. <laughs> I think you're mistaking me. I hadn't thought of one. <laughs> oh, okay. So you lied and said, here's one I thought of, and then just started making it up. And I would thought, I would be like, man, I'm good at improv. Yep. I could think of something that rhymes with .com.au, and I couldn't. You couldn't. And I, I think I rhymed .au with comfort, and that doesn't rhyme. Doesn't, doesn't even <laughs> Hang on, close to rhyme. Okay. Um, Nobby.com.au, a surprise for your box and your nuts, just for you. That's You just rhyme you with you, man. Uh, yeah. How about this? Nobby.com. Dot .au, a box for your knob and your box too. Better than yours. Yeah, better. Better, Kill, better than yours. Killen was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, what about, um, uh, ooh, want to have a comfy dance? Well, experience the power in your pants. That's I pretty good. That. I like that. That's good. I yeah. do like that. And I guess, they're, and I guess they're like, a, oh, then for the jingle, we could be dancing like, that's cool. I don't mind that one. To the jingle. If you guys have your own jingles, sound one off or make one for yourself. 
and Let's send it in. Luke and Lewis one. five at gmail dot com. Yeah, I think it should be sung like that as well. So wanna have a comfy dance? Boom boom. Experience the power in your pants. I like that. And then it'll get ding ding. Does it need ding, the ding ding? ding? At the end, yeah. Okay. Because that's the fun part where people were quoting it, and then everyone was like, ah, ding ding. So, wanna have a? Oh, what was the best bit? I, I don't know. It's oh, your yeah. jingle. Wanna have a comfy dance? I think I've changed it. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> sound off in the comments below. Obviously, this isn't our. Do our you have? It's not talent. our domain, all right? Yeah. And maybe we need. Maybe, maybe one could argue we should have planned this more. You, because this was your idea. It was my don't idea. Don't say we. <laughs> Rope it me into something. I did my. I did my last. Yeah, last on Tuesday. Yeah. I did my nobby thing. Oh, no. Everyone loved it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. I have a really good one for next week. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just was saving it. Okay. You don't want to have two good promos in a week. That's you know? true. You don't want to sell too many under. Yeah. Too many pairs of underpants. Exactly. You know, we, we, uh, we gotta. We gotta do. We'll hit you with one amazing nobby promotion per week. Okay. Not Big promising. Call. Not. Not promising that. Okay, great. I yeah. like that. I like that. Nobby.com.au. I, like, com. I feel you. like that's a really good hallmark of our show. It's like promising really big things. Disclaimer. Maybe might not, not do it. Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. Uh, don't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Nobby.com.au. 20 bucks a month. Really good undies. Uh, highly recommend them. Join the undie club today. Uh, Lewis. Yes. It's time for one of my favorite segments. And I want to know what the man's been up to. Oh, uh, okay. Right. What All has right. Mike Goldman been liking on his Instagram? Pictures of friends, a cat wearing a hat, commenting she's a keeper on a friend's photo with their girlfriend. Landscape pictures, heaps of chicks in bikinis, three dogs, a couple more bikini pics. This is Mike Goldman's Instagram likes. Woohoo! We have a brilliant segment today uh, of what Mike Goldman has been liking on Instagram. Now, a bit of backstory if you're new to the podcast. Yep. Hey, welcome. Uh, Mike Goldman is... Uh, He's come up on the show before. That's why we started this segment. He is the ex-host of the Australian Big Brother series. He yep. uh, does a lot of uh, voiceover work these days. Bit of an enigma, really, which is why we're yeah. fascinated with what he's getting up to on social media. Yes, uh, and we've been we've been doing this segment and we've made it a rule that the listeners of the show are not allowed to contact Mike Goldman in any way. And I've got to say, very impressed, no one's contacted him at all because we want Mike <laughs> Goldman to find out about this yeah. segment on his own organically. I, Mike, if this is the first time you're watching... We've been doing this for weeks. Yep. Welcome to the show. Have a listen to the previous ones. Yep. And also, uh, I have a sneaking suspicion yep. that um, even if we didn't tell people to contact him, I don't know how many people would have. I just get a vibe that we could talk about as much as we want and people would be like, I don't feel the need to contact him. <laughs> Mike's I've a great seen guy. what he likes on Instagram. Yeah. Not too interested. Um, so, I've got three photos here, varying degrees of uh, just content that he's liking yeah. out there he likes some really diverse stuff really does like he, he literally stuff. like last uh time he liked something in a different language yeah uh he liked he was just like like in one gun post yeah i can't even get a read of like what he likes he likes because he likes so many things he yeah. just likes he i think i think he maybe must... he doesn't really understand how to use instagram he's like oh i can't actually scroll to the next photo without liking it you know he must uh. like fuck with the algorithm so hard because like instagram <laughs> will be trying to work out what to show him yes. and then they'll be like dude i don't know what to show you because you're just like in crazy shit like i get shown standout clips a lot yeah you know, a lot of music that i'm into uh -huh. instagram knows what i like yeah. i'm a pretty easy guy to read you That's know it. you put a panic at the disco post in front of me i'm liking that Double bad tap. boy nine times out of 10 for sure i would love to see mike goldman's ads that he gets served like on google yeah like what does he get advertised just i get we'll guess we'll find out okay what i'd love like to see week? mike goldman as an active follower of me well mike that goldman if you're listening if this is your first time listening yeah. Don't follow Keelan. My getting, Instagram plug is at Keelan. Thirstier by the week for followers. And I oh, think yeah. that desperation is seeping through. And I, you're probably getting less these days, aren't you? Well, I'm up to 863 and I had 450 when we started this. So it's too many. That disappoints me. Imagine if that many people bought Founders merch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So first post, uh, we have, uh, I would say that this post is the only common recurring theme that always pops up in uh, Mike Goldman's yeah. Instagram likes, which is uh, a photo of a topless girl in the sea <laughs> yep. with tiny little sensors on her fake breasts. Yep. So pretty standard for hey, Mike Goldman. How do you know they're fake? I mean, it's... I can tell. Had a look at the profile. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, or she could just be genetically gifted. So... Give it, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. 
Well, I would say that either Mike Goldman thoroughly enjoys this or he's just an appreciator of good surgeons. Or ocean photography. Yep. Could be could either, be either or. But I think we all know the reason why that was liked. <laughs> <laughs> Second photo. Ocean photography. Second photo. Interesting uh, choice of a like. He's liked uh, a photo from an unofficial Kanye West account of Kanye and their child hanging out. Child smiling, Kanye not smiling. How many followers does the uh, unofficial account have? Is it a popular know. one? It says Kanye West official, but it has two T's and an underscore. So it's not official at all. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll have a look. Let's see how many followers it does have. Because but I want to know if he's following obscure Kanye West insta- mm-hmm. like fan accounts or if he's just following like the main one that maybe a lot of people are liking. I'm going to say pretty obscure. Only 300,000. Like for Kanye, that's not many. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe he's a massive Kanye fan. Well, I guess we learn something about Mike every week. There we go. Um, uh, and the final one, I would say, is the most interesting like uh, and also a comment. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, Double uh, trouble. Really Mike. like this one. And uh, this would be the most confusing one. Keelan actually sent it to me. I didn't even notice this happening. Right. But he has <laughs> liked a post from my podcast's Instagram page, Spearhead Sundays, of a video of me talking about, have you, <laughs> have you ever seen a hot mum with a kid? And the video was talking about when you see a hot mum some with a kid, sometimes I wonder, does the kid know, I'm talking about toddler, yep. that his mum's really hot? Yep. So, and then Mike Goldman has liked this photo, but not only has he liked it, he related to that <laughs> clip so much that he <laughs> left three laughing emojis. So I would say that Mike Goldman, big fan of hot mums. And also would have been the kid back in the day that was fully aware that he had a hot mum. I bet you Mike Goldman's mum's a hottie or was a hottie <laughs> back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. I reckon he was relating to that being like, oh, mate, I've been there. Yep. I've been a toddler and thought, geez, my mum's got it going on. And there you go. We learn a lot of Pictures things of friends, during Mike Goldman's a yeah. wearing a Instagram hat, like. commenting she's she a keeper on a friend's photo. Probably not. Man, we should. Uh, Mike should uh, release a parody version of uh, Stacey's mum. Mike's mum's got it going on. My own mum. Um, has <laughs> got it going on. I liked her pics. And comments at three emojis. So that's Great. that's good. So, uh, but you. I think that it's so strange that he he follows Luke and Lewis. Yeah, he comments on my podcast's Instagram page. That's pretty deep an, into our content. He's an in the closet fan, but clearly not a fan of this podcast. Or maybe the jokes on us. And he's watch been uh, watching this segment mm, for weeks, and he I just feel goes like I feel like. I don't want to. I don't want to be too yeah. accusatory here, but I think that Mike Goldman might be. a Bit of a pretend fan, fan. Pretend. Yeah, yeah. Fan on social media yeah. doesn't actually watch anything. Yeah. There's a few of those lurking around in our comment sections on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I ripped somebody yeah. as well in, in the comments. Someone section. Uh, was questioning, going, "Hey guys, what does sound off mean?" I keep hearing sound off. Like we get a lot of people, and that's pretty much outing yourself as a non-listener to the podcast. Someone commented it on the Luke and Lewis Instagram. They wrote, "Hey guys, guys sound off if you're a true fan." Um, he said... I mean, everyone will be sounding off because they get it. WTF is sound off. LMFAO. Help me. First off, too many abbreviations there. <laughs> yeah. uh, and because it's no slide season, I responded, Hey man, just sounding off. You're actually following a page about a podcast. If you don't listen to the show, <laughs> maybe unfollow. Yeah. That's Why good. are you following that's if good. you don't listen? Thanks for telling people to unfollow us. Yeah. Hey, we don't want people who don't listen to that's the show, true. do we? No, I don't want people who uh, are not willing to sound off because this show is all about contribution to community and uh, sounding off, I guess, is an integral part of being a part of that community. And uh, it's and, was, and we read your sound offs, by the way. Don't absolutely. think you sounding off is being unnoticed. I we read, read them all. They're every very funny. single comment on our Instagram post. I, uh, people sounding off which table they'd sit at yeah. uh, in the high school cafeteria. I really like that. Uh, mm. Obviously, on the YouTube version, some people watch and comment. They sorry, they watch and sound off as, as the they show go. goes. Cause, I like that because you said one time we got a, like five comments from one guy, and we slowly realized that he was just commenting about every ten minutes or so. Yeah, so so just we, sounding off. We, that's great. We'd say something that would maybe perk his interest, and he'd yeah. be like, "Oh, I must sound off below." And it's like, "Hey guys, just sounding off again. Uh, this is what I think about that." And yeah, don't that's think great. that's going unnoticed. I read them and I go, "Oh." Interesting thought. The only thing better than sounding off is a double sound off. Yes. And the 
other thing better than a double sound off is a triple so on and so forth. But I would like to make a rule. Yep. Please do not do more than five sound offs. Too five many sound, sound offs. offs. Let's cap it. Let's cap yep. it at five sound offs max per app. So actually, so I would do say, ten a week. I would say just to keep it easy for everyone so nobody has to scroll through and count each sound off, yep. self-regulate. So <laughs> sound off and then at the end of your... So you're sounding off. Just do like one of five or one of three. Yeah. One of however many comments you're planning on. And on if you find yourself at four sound offs and you're only 30 minutes into the episode. Save it. Oh boy. You better make that last sound off count and you better really sound off. Yeah. So Great. I expect to see a very regimented, organized sound yep. off section. And Not a comment section anymore. It's a sound off section. Um, What are we going to do? Because I do want to include, obviously, this very much includes uh, our watching YouTube audience. Yep. We have a lot of audio listeners who listen on Spotify, yeah. uh, iTunes. I mean, you know, you know what could be great for us, and it would be a mutually beneficial situation. They can sound off. We'd read it. Sound off on iTunes. Leave that review. <laughs> sound off right? in the review section. Yeah, sound off in the review section. <laughs> That's uh, good. And you can also sound off on, it, on on any of our social medias as well, and and our email. I guess you can sound off. Uh, less sounding off in the email. Yeah. I feel like email is like really important. Honestly, stuff. we're filtering so much shit from Chicken Imp. We don't need any more sound offs yeah. in the email. But if you have a thought or a celeb spot or any other correspondence if you want to contribute to the should show, should be on the show. Then absolutely, Luke and Lewis five gmail dot com um, at gmail dot com. Uh, just before we move on from this guy who didn't know what sounding off is, because I like that. It's not, as everybody knows, no slide season because my tour starts on, yep. well, tonight because uh, it's Thursday. Um, everyone has been joining in with the no slide season, which is we're not letting dumb comments slide. It's great to see. So we got two comments from, yep. from uh, people sounding off, well, two sound offs. Uh, hey, man, just sounding off to let you know that it's actually no slide season. So don't be surprised if people roast the fuck out of you for not sounding off. <laughs> That's good. I like that one. Yep. And then I'd say the second uh, comment from somebody else, Big Burn, sounding off. Your mum named Jeff. <laughs> now that, Ooh. that is some high art. That's third yeah. degree burns. <laughs> Get some room temperature water for that shit because, <laughs> woohoo. Um, Lewis, yes. this is what I've been meaning to bring up with you for a while. I keep yep. forgetting. Uh, someone sounded off on a podcast a couple of weeks ago now uh, saying, in, just in the comment section, hey, yep. did Lewis tint his eyebrows uh, this episode? They're mad distracting. I was wondering when this is going to come up. Uh, Please I, answer. I... Do tint my eyebrows. Interesting. So, you give wasn't yourself... My, wasn't this my is, idea. This is how your day goes sometimes. Yeah. Oh, we're going to wake up. I'm going to paint my Warhammer miniatures. Yep. Then I'm going to uh, go, oh, uh, oh how with a friend. Oh, don't have any. Uh, Luke's busy. <laughs> so, uh, then I go do something else. All right, yeah. I'll tint my eyebrows. Then I'll go give myself an award. Uh, make myself a plaque. Is that how some your day goes sometimes? No, I, knew, I oh, never Oh, and then I'm going to wear shoes that look like a kid spilt highlighter ink all over them. I like these shoes. My girlfriend... Uh, Made me do it for the first time, and I I fought her. No, not the first time. From yep. memory, you've done this in the past. No, I'm the first time oh, that they right. were tinted. I fought I fought this for eight months. No, nope, not going to do it. Should try it. Try it. I think it, try the first it. time was obvious because I think I noticed it the first time. The first time I messed, or we messed it. I up. think I came. You came to a gig once, and I was like, "Did you?" I look very serious. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. "What's up with your eyebrows?" I was like, "You look mad." Yeah, they were so aggressively they were drawn brown. On. Yeah, we messed it up. We've got it kind of right now. But, Luke, in my defense... Well, clearly not, because someone said they're mad distracting. Yeah, we messed that one up. That wasn't good. We left it on too long. Uh, in my defense, Luke, I wanted, I'm want i going to show you a picture. All your defenses with stuff that you and yeah. Jazz do together in your own time. That, yeah. That's great. You guys, you have your own, own relationship. Do whatever you want. Yeah. It doesn't bother me. Uh -huh. But every defense you have is, well, I have to. I'm like, no, you don't have to. But I have to tag my no, cat No, I on don't Instagram. have to. It's just if I don't... Kill, you see? Still tagging <laughs> the cat on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I, I like what? my. I've decided that I like my walk. cat now. Oh, really? We didn't take it for a walk. We took it in the backyard. I'm never gonna walk the cat. <laughs> we just take it outside because it's. I don't know. It's you in put a room it on a whole leash. Life. Yeah. And we're taking your cat for a walk. No, we put it in the backyard. We didn't take it for Why a walk. Why hasn't it been on a leash? Will it run away? Yes. Yeah, because it hates you. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, it won't come back. It won't run if away. If it likes you, you wouldn't have to put it on a leash. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's. So look, okay. Let's stop talking about my abusive relationship with the cat that doesn't like me, okay? Um, I want to show you I want to show you a photo of me before my girlfriend convinced me to, to tint my eyebrows. Look at this photo I, where I just don't have them. I think you look fine. Yeah, but they don't exist. They're not there. I've got one eyebrow. So you've eyebrow. been tinting them for years? Oh, yeah, a long time. I mean, you, you, they're, they're there. No, but under lights, under bright lights, they just disappear. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Can I see? Um, 
Like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. See, they're nah. not there. Kilo so, gets it. I think this is like one of your biggest secrets revealed. You know what it is? Like, it, it's like when I revealed yeah. that you uh, comb your hair back to cover your bald I spot. I don't have a bald <laughs> spot. That's the worst joke <laughs> yeah. you've been running with for years. <laughs> you probably tint your bald spot as well. <laughs> Just the like real reason I tint my eyebrows is because I actually don't have any mm, to yeah, draw attention away bald. from the bald spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the reason why. <laughs> the angrier I look, if I tint my eyebrows, the less you can tell that I'm going yeah. bald. You actually look like an angry bird. You know that, like the, <laughs> the tinted eyebrows that are in. No, the problem is when my eyebrows disappear, it just makes my massive forehead look even longer. You do a lot of like man gotta look good, mate. Type shit. Gotta like, look good. What else do you do? You tint your eyebrows. You go to the put, gym. You wax your hair every day. Get my hair cut every every three or four weeks yeah you are and you'd think you'd be more attractive but <laughs> i gotta do a lot of work a lot of renovating going on well i uh, mean like what would your head be like if you didn't i remember that me and jazz talk about this a lot when she met me she was like i was definitely punching and i've been slowly slowly catching up <laughs> yeah right okay yeah so what, what why was she with you just felt bad know. Don't know. So I look at this Charity guy with case. no eyebrows, bald spot. He needs some loving. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend's a saint. Right. He's well, like, I, I can fix that up. It's a fixer up. I didn't even notice in person. So maybe they're more distracting. That's on what I mean. Camera. No, on on camera. It's like the it's like the day after you. you I don't even know. Did, did you ever notice, Keelan? Yeah, I noticed it. Oh, you I didn't say anything it. though. No. Why would I? Because it's funny to bag your friends about that. Yeah. It's called bullying. A hundred percent. Yeah. It's what we do to you. That's why we do it. I just don't want to lose my job. Oh, right. You tint your eyebrows. Oh, and then I'll be like, mate, how dare you bring up something very obvious? You're fired. <laughs> you know what? If, if you're wrongfully hired for bagging Lewis, I'll re I'll hire you. Can you speak English correctly <laughs> on I meant this fired. episode, please? I meant fired. Every, you're making I fun of me. Fired. Okay, what I look like, whatever. I tip yeah. my eyebrows. You can't speak English. <laughs> so let's start with that, all right? When you can speak the language that you were taught to speak, we can talk about me looking like an idiot sometimes. When you can speak English, all right? Deal? Deal. Oh, you got that one right. Congratulations. <laughs> A meal. <laughs> Hey guys, we're gonna end the show there. Is that is that you got your bullying out? Yeah, I got my bullying out. All right, and I got I feel, my fish out, and I feel sufficiently bullied back, which is good. Okay, you know, what goes and around? Sound off in the comment section if around. you want to do a bit of bullying. Yeah, but make sure limit it to five comments. Limit it to offs. five five bullies. Um, all right, guys, that's, that's the end. Also, of the show. not getting these. I'm gonna leave. Good go. <laughs> all right, bye. That's the end of the show. I'm gonna be in Gympie, Sunshine Coast, and Gold Coast. Uh, Tonight, Friday, and Saturday night. So I'll see you guys there. LouisSpears.com slash gigs. Brisbane will be two weeks away from that. That one's going to be huge. Melbourne just sold out. We added an extra show. All of the dates are here, and I'll see you there. I'm also going to be a gimpy. Oh, yep, and also, um, I'm going to Perth next week. Yes. Uh, I'm like not. I'm not doing any shows on my own. I'm just going to be doing spots at the Comedy Lounge. So if you want to see me working on some new stuff for next year's show, I'll be there all week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Yep, of uh, Comedy Lounge is a good room, so there'll be a bunch of other other good. So if you're in Perth well. and I haven't been there in a while, so I thought I'd let you guys know. Only letting podcasters know. Yeah, you know, big so secret. If you guys want to come out and uh, see me do some gags in Perth? That's where I'll be. Also, give me a list of ideas of shit to do in Perth because I'm going to be there by myself. Yeah, I'll be so bored. I think the only thing to do there is is drugs and burnouts. Yeah, judging by everybody else in Perth. Oh well, sick. I'll have to hire a car and <laughs> rent some meth. <laughs> <laughs> rent some meth. All right. See you later, guys. That's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs>